It was really good. It got better as the week went by. Posted on Instagram a couple uh, personal records of mine. So it was uh, it was a good season this year. Well, I caught a like a 42 inch muskie. That was a big one, and then like a 37 inch pike too. That was pretty nice. What do you take out of a season where the team had the kind of success and it did the most success it's had since you've been in the big leagues, and where you were a threat throughout the year, maybe didn't have like the level of success that you would want to have? What do you sort of take out of that? Philosophy? Yeah, as a, as a whole, I thought um, as a group we did a great job um, just battling adversity, staying with each other because you know it's a long season and we went through some ups and downs and. You know, the standings were, were, were what they were, and we ended up winning the division on the last day of the season. So, you know, it was kind of like we had our backs against the wall the whole year, and I think that was a great learning experience for us. Me personally, yeah, I really want to improve my consistency. Um, you know, I had a great start and kind of fizzled and was unsure of myself and things like that, and all that kind of adds up to, to what you saw. But, you know, I try to take the positives out of everything, and, you know, the team success obviously matters a lot for this city and, and you know, our group. Yeah, consistency, I feel like, is the goal for all position players, um, probably more so uh, than pitchers. I want consistency, too, but they almost want domination every time. Uh, as a hitter, I think um, you know that's going to be my main goal. And for me, that's uh, more mental than it is physical. And you know, just going to work through my, you know, my thought processes and making sure that I'm staying present in the moment. And, and I won't allow those like 0 for 10s to turn into 0 for 40, you know? Colton, um, he's just growing into his own. I mean, his confidence is 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 increasing. Um, the way we worked last year, I thought, was a huge part of how we started and kind of you know set the tone. So, you know, these next few weeks in Jupiter, uh, we'll all be there working out with uh, Cheo, and you know, those are the like the moments that that kind of add up towards the end of the year. And uh, having Goldschmidt over there, saving so many errors. I mean, he knows the game so well. Um, and he plays the game at such a high level that you almost take him for granted. Like uh, he's a vacuum over there. So, you know, I think we all just feed off each other, and and it's like a, an intentional thing of we want to be the best infield, and we want to make all these plays, and we want to be on top plays, and all these types of little things that, you know, for like I said before, when I became a shortstop again, I actually really enjoyed playing defense, and you know, that's something that I didn't have earlier in my career. Do you feel like you're it's been a couple of years since you made that move from third back to short. Mm -hmm. Are you still trying to grow? I mean, I know you never stop. But mm -hmm. Are you pretty comfortable with the position now? Definitely. Um, you know, uh, more innings and more experience allows me to see the field better. I thought uh, my uh, my field presence was a lot better last year, and my consistency overall was definitely better. So a lot of positives when it comes to that. And now it's just, you know, just about um, – kind of uh, being more of a leader now, being able to see the field better, being able to anticipate things better. And, you know, the the reason why I think I didn't get the gold glove was a few of those plays with guys in scoring position. And I think those are the those are the huge ones, being able to uh, to save runs. And, you know, that's what uh, I'm going to focus on more and try to lock in with, with guys on base more and, and kind of make those plays that, that can prevent runs. Yeah, I mean, just at, at offensively, um, you know, when, when I become mature myself, it's more I'm thinking results-based, you know, I'm, oh, I haven't gotten a hit in two days, okay, I got to get a hit today, and then you go for two or something, and then it just kind of snowballs. So it's almost like a snapping uh, out of that negative, um, you know, thought process and more just being locked in on what you can do right now. And and for me, it's a, more of a feeling of, of – feeling completely in my body as opposed to feeling in one certain part of my swing or whatever I think's going on. So um, less focus and more just kind of broad, like, presence. Yeah, there are many probably major league players who would advocate for less play time, mm -hmm. um, but you played a ton of innings last year. Do you think that was something that maybe added up over the course of the season? And do you think, you know, with Tommy and not bouncing around, him obviously added some reps that you guys, you could see it maybe a few more days off and yeah, I don't really want any more days off. I think it's it's more about how I, you know, 
view the game and process everything. It's not necessarily about the workload. I thought physically, I thought I felt great and I, I kept my uh, preparation up throughout the whole year. And so uh, this year is more of a mental year for me, um, you know, kind of understanding what it takes for me to play this many games. I'm, you know, I'm working through all that and have a, you know, a solid foundation. But now it's just about you know, going out there and, and trusting um, with 162 games, how long of a season it really is. So, you know, it's going to be a challenge, but um, physically, uh, you know, I definitely think I can handle what I did last year and more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jose, great teammate, great leader, um, you know. He's one of those guys that can pull you aside, uh, whether it's um, you know a young guy or a veteran. He had such a great connection between everybody, the bilingual aspect. I mean, he taught me Spanish a lot. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm gonna miss him for sure. And um, you know, great bat off the bench. So we're gonna have to have somebody step up, and you know that's uh, how this game goes. And you know, he's gonna have his the rest of his career in Tampa or wherever he ends up. And you know, I wish him the best of luck. But for us right now, it's now it's who's gonna fill that role, and you know. Kind of just uh, you know on to the next. It's the business of baseball. Yeah, I believe I could fill that role. Um, you know, I don't know where Schilt will put me in the order, but I feel somewhere in the middle, three to, three to five, I think is a good spot for me. Um, you know, I think uh, over the course of the season, I'll have a lot of chances uh, to drive in runs and help us score, and you know, I think that's my identity as a hitter and what I've kind of grown into. So, you know, um, we'll see how, how it all shakes out. But, you know, I'm super excited with the team we got and some young talent that's coming up that's going to be uh, hungry to fill that left field spot. Maybe mentally a little bit. And less at bats definitely adds up over the course of a year. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll do my best to stay consistent at the beginning of the year and, and stay in that middle part of the, the order. But, it is uh, what it is. Uh, Schultz, the manager, he writes the lineup card. Um, I want to play every day, and um, you know, wherever wherever that lands, that'll be it. Go ahead. Um, that's always the goal, but you know, when you're here today on January 19th, it's uh, really hard to see way out into November. So, you know, for me, um, I'm just going to focus on uh, continuing my preparation, like I know how to do, and. And you know, just make plays every day. It's just there's no uh, easy road and there's no um, magic pill. So, you know, just staying locked in and playing the game hard every day will take care of itself.